we are big Incredibles 2 fans around here. So curious if with all of the... Well, oh, you're already a fan of Incredibles well, 2. Sorry, it hasn't wait, even been made me, the yet. jury's out. That's yeah, how that, good you are. Right, that exactly. That's how good you are. I like the Incredibles 3. I'm yeah. so ahead and of myself. And it's not nearly as good as Incredibles 5. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There was a little dip in 4, but that's when you stepped out oh, yeah. to do the other movie. That's uh, right. Uh, <laughs> four, is the, 4 is the one when Vin Diesel comes back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah it's good. So, um, well, we like The Incredibles, and we're looking forward to The Incredibles 2. With the sort of uptick in superhero movies, they're the most dominant form of movies in, in cinema right now. It's well-trodden so, turf. Well-trodden turf. So does it become actually more difficult to do the same kind of redux that you did on the first one, or does it? Or is there just well, so much more I, fodder? I, th I think that um, a lot of uh, superhero movies have been made since Incredibles. And you're kind of—it's kind of like an athletic field that, that's just kind of dried up dirt now, and maybe a few clumps of grass. And and <laughs> and I think that the the challenge is how do you do something that steps outside of that and says, wait, there's another where uh, another place for our, our heroes to go. And um, so that's kind of the challenge is trying to. I mean, pe people make a lot about following some kind of you know roadmap and. You know, Damon and I can tell you from doing this film that you know you're just bumping into furniture. You know, you, you, you. Hopefully, if you're on the right path, you don't actually know where you're going completely. And uh, I love those characters in Incredibles, but I, I also am a movie goer, and I want to be surprised by movies and have them zig when when they should be zagging. And that's the goal with that one, as it was for this one. And that's what attracted me to Tomorrowland when uh, Damon first talked to me about it, is that it was, it was I, I didn't know where the story was gonna go next. But is Spider-Man going to be in The Incredibles 2? But Can that's you tell the question. Us? Can no, you tell we, us now we actually, that there is actually We actually, one of, one of the biggest laughs, laughs that we ever had was one of those goofy things that, that you start talking about it and you start to say, should we do that? And we were, we were saying, <laughs> it we, was your yeah, pitch. My, my pitch was, my, my pitch was that there was gonna be a post-credits scene in uh, in Tomorrowland, <laughs> and at, at the very end of the movie, uh, if you watch the credits, there's a pin, and you see someone picking it up, and the reveal would be that it was Sam <laughs> Jackson, <laughs> and he's wearing an eye patch, and he's holding a lightsaber, <laughs> and he looks sort of beef up, maybe a Frozone uniform, yeah. and he just goes, "I'm in this one too," and then bam, <laughs> cut to black, just to get all, just to get all and the, the cross pollination. Loves Sam, so that's yeah. gonna be an uptick yeah. at the box office. Absolutely, know? just lock it in. We're just like, we don't want to say how, but this does lock into both the Star Wars and the Marvel universe. And, and, and is a setup for Incredibles. Yeah. And we're not saying that's not in we there. We can't rule it out. That yeah, post-credit yeah. yeah. scene might be in there. We yeah. don't know. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to stick with the original characters for Incredibles 2? I don't like to talk about anything. There's no upside for All me. All secrets. No unwrapping. All the time. Unwrapping. unwrapping. The unwrapping of the present. Yes.